Hey guys, John here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make the lead sound from the song Turn On The Lights Again. All right, so let's dive into this. So for the effects, let's turn all these off and let's talk about our oscillators. So I have three oscillators going. I have them all up at uh, two octaves, 24 semitones, and they're slightly detuned. So this one, the second oscillator is at plus two cents. And then the third one is at plus three cents. They all have one voice of unison and they all start at the very initial phase and all have phase randomization as well. So the most tricky part for me for this patch was really dialing in the gated type of sound. So this is the closest I figured the sound is probably doing. They might even just be hitting the notes separately themselves, but with this gated, it does sound pretty good. So this is going to be modulating the volume as you can see. And it did add a lot of characteristics to kind of fade out each little hit of the gate as well. So that's why these downslopes are there. The next part was really the volume envelope. So this attack here specifically is 0.358. And then I'd also adjusted the tension handle here to kind of accent that sound a little bit more. And then there's also going to be the decay at specifically 0.631. And then the sustain over here is going to be 0.71 and the release at 0.222. So the next part is going to be the glide. So I brought up the glide at exactly 0.038 and then made the slope kind of curve downwards a little bit and always and selected always glide. And then all three oscillators are going to be going into filter one, which is going to be on the latter 24 dB. And the cutoff is going to be at 5,856.61 Hertz. So let's move on to the effects. So for the first effect, I have another filter. And this one is basically just cutting off the low end at about 182 Hertz. So we're just kind of focusing on that lead sound, cutting off that low end. The next we have a compressor. Kind of squash it a little bit and this like i said always this one's always to taste you really got to use your ears on the compressor and really kind of match the tonality and how much compression you really want and the original sound has some delay on it so i turned on the delay at one four on each side and i put stereo for the mode and the feedback is going to be 38.27 the mix is going to be 17 0.05 the cutoff is going to be 59.56 and then the spread is going to be 0.36 so here's before and after now with delay and then next up we have the reverb So with this one, the low cut is not is unchanged. The high cut is at 4698, and the cutoff is down here. The chorus amount is going to be 5, so I believe default delay is going to be all the way down. The mix is going to be 47.8. The time is going to be 2.65, and then the size is going to be 73, which is, I kind of wanted it, it sounded like it was in a bigger room, so you increase that size to kind of simulate a bigger room there. The chorus frequency is going to be 0.25, and then the gain is going to be all the way at the top. So that's pretty much this patch in a nutshell. Let's listen to that again. All right, so hopefully this helped you out. If it did, please let me know and leave a comment below, and we'll see you in the next video.